Hello everyone, Ron Vitel, uh, nutritionist for Siskiyou Vital Medicine here, coming to you with a little video blog. Today's topic, fat phobia. Are you still fat phobic? Are you scared to consume fat because of all the, the misinformation actually that's been out there over the years and especially now after the American Heart Association's latest guidelines, their latest uh, announcement uh, back in June that Saturated fat is bad for you, including fats like coconut oil, which have been touted for their health benefits for quite some time now. Has that report made you fat phobic uh, and scared to consume high quality fats? Well, hopefully this will clear some of that confusion up for you because uh, that report is um, in my opinion, like a dinosaur coming back to revisit us. It's, it's just, the information is so old. In fact, if you look at the, the studies that they are pulling this information from about saturated fat being bad for you, the four main studies that they actually cite are from 1969, 1970, 1968, and 1979. So we're looking at information that's over 40 years old here. Uh, and and really holds no weight anymore because if you look at all the studies that have been done, mainly observational studies as well as some randomized clinical trials, there has been no conclusive evidence that saturated fat uh, increases risk of cardiovascular disease. Okay, so you have to understand out of hundreds of of observational studies. Some of these studies have been going on, like the Framingham study has been going on. It's the longest running study. There's something like 50,000 people involved in this study. This is a massive study. No evidence, no evidence shows any definitive connection between saturated fat consumption and cardiovascular disease, okay? And what's interesting about the American Heart Association's recent announcement back in June is that they recommend replacing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats. And the oils that they recommend are actually canola, corn, and soybean oil. It seems to me a little suspicious that those would be the three oils that they recommend consuming, um, especially when you look at the, the three major, um, you know, uh, agribusiness uh, uh, byproducts right there. So, uh, you, you know, you, you could look at industry influence as far as this is concerned as well. Um, I'm not saying that's what it definitely is, but it's a little suspicious in my opinion. Uh, so what I want to do is tell you that saturated fat actually has some real benefits to it, okay? Fat in general. Uh, good fats like your omega-3s, uh, your omega-6s like uh, uh, GLA and DGLA are really high quality fats for you to consume. And there are high quality saturated fats that you can consume, um, such as coconut oil, butter, animal fats from grass-fed beef, uh, free-range chicken, um, uh, 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 um, pork that has been raised in a humane fashion. So these animal fats are, are not um, something to be scared of because in fact, saturated fat has been shown in studies to lower uh, uh, a cardiovascular risk marker called lipoprotein A. And lipoprotein A has been associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. It ends up saturated fat consumption actually drives down LPA levels. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Um, saturated fat also helps with weight loss. It facilitates clearing fat from the liver, and it even protects the liver from toxic insults from things like medications and alcohol, um, uh, acetaminophen, things like that. So, so saturated fat is actually a protective uh, uh, nutrient for the liver. It's also good for the brain. The majority of the fat in the brain, which the brain is primarily fat, and the majority of that fat is actually saturated fat, as well as uh, the myelin sheath of the nerves is, pr is primarily saturated fat, uh, particularly like uh, phospholipids, which are saturated fats. Um, 
And saturated fat even improves immune function. It actually uh, aids white blood cells in being able to recognize and destroy viruses, bacteria, fungi. Um, so uh, it's, it's an essential nutrient for the human physiology. Okay, saturated fat is not something to be scared of. You want to make sure that you're consuming high quality saturated fats. For if it's from an animal, you want to make sure that it's a uh, free range, organic, grass fed. Uh, those are those are really important things to take into consideration. And then coconut oil. You want to make sure that you get a good quality coconut oil. Uh, and just to give you a little side note on coconut oil, the benefits of coconut oil are myriad. They're, so. Coconut oil can help improve thyroid function, it can help improve immune function, it helps improve gut health. Uh, the list goes on and on as far as the things that coconut oil is beneficial for. So I would not be too concerned about this uh, American Heart Association report that came out saying that saturated fat is bad and that you should avoid coconut oil. I think what you, we really need to do is look deeper at, at the information uh, I've gone on and I've researched it, and out of I mean I, I could pull up I could pull up observational study after observational study, as well as a randomized clinical trials that have consistently found no direct correlation between saturated fat consumption and cardiovascular disease. And the, the other thing to realize is that there's a difference between statistical significance and clinical significance. So if there's a statistical significance that saturated fat increases certain biomarkers that may not be good for cardiovascular disease, that's one thing. But what you really want to see is is it true? Does it actually work out in the physiology in a clinical setting? And that's what's really important. And there's been no clinical evidence that saturated fat is technically bad for the cardiovascular uh, system and increases cardiovascular disease. Whereas, in fact, a lot of the research shows the exact opposite. What we're really dealing here with is an entrenched mindset that for over 40 some years, 50 some years, has pointed the finger at saturated fat as being uh, um, negative for the cardiovascular system, and it's just simply not true. Uh, perhaps a follow-up blog uh, for this one would be looking at how the sugar industry framed saturated fat uh, for uh, uh, um, uh, increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease back in the 60s. Perhaps that would be the next one. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. If you have uh, uh, any comments, let us know. If you have any questions, send them in. We'd love to hear from you. And until then, have a great day. And thank you for following Siskiyou Vital Medicine. Bye now.